Hey everybody, I'm here today with a really easy drumming lesson. And this drumming lesson involves striking your floor tom and your snare drum simultaneously as you are about to play a drumming beat. Okay? And I will demonstrate it in just a few moments, but I'm going to explain it first. So let's say you're about to play a drum beat, and you know you're, you're, you want to lead into that drum beat. What you would do is you would strike your floor tom and your snare drum simultaneously, multiple times, building up the volume. So it sounds something like, like this. Dun, 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 dun. You're striking your floor tom and your snare drum at the same time, together, and you are striking them multiple times and building up the volume. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get my headphones on, get geared up, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate it a few times to show you what it sounds like and what it looks like. So as you can see with those examples that I've just shown you, all that I was doing was striking my floor tom and my snare drum simultaneously multiple times while building up the volume. I started off at a low volume when I was striking them and I ended off at a high volume and that sort of gets the audience pumped up and ready for the drumming beat that you are about to play. So what I'm going to do now is once again get geared up and I'm going to demonstrate that lead in followed by some drumming beats. So I'm going to give you examples of the lead in along with drumming beats that would follow the lead in. Okay, so just listen and watch closely. So as you can see, this was a really easy drumming lesson that showed you a method of leading into your drumming beats. And that method simply involved striking the floor tom and the snare drum simultaneously multiple times while building up the volume. So you'd start off at a low volume and end off at a high volume. It's literally that simple. Now with the specific examples that I've shown you throughout this video, I chose to strike the floor tom and the snare drum simultaneously seven times before you know beginning to play my drumming beat. But you can sort of experiment with it and fool around with it and see what works best for you. So you might you know fool around with it and find that striking the floor tom and the snare drum together eight times works best for you, or maybe four times or three times and so forth. So fool around with it and cater it to your own drumming style. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.